teacher is in danger. Not to mention every your entire research is a lie. What kind of professor are you? This door will never open without the power of the seven star crystal stars. Unless you're Glotus. Then you can just do whatever the heck you want. For plot, plot armor, storyline development. What? What's up guys, PK Sparks here, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So last time we ended up finishing Chapter 7 in Thousand Year Door, we had a godlike boss fight versus Lord Crump and the Magnus Von Grample 2.0. Oh, and um, as decent as the bot was, can I admit that Bobot was pretty difficult, at the same time, Power Lift Monkey, Multi Bunk? might be OP. It might be the best combo we have ever had so far. Remember that in the very beginning of the game, I was like, yo, Goombella, you all right? I mean, I only use it for tattling. I am so glad we powered her up. I gotta admit, power lifting with the power balance and the multi-bunk between the two of us, we can take out any single ball so easily. Yeah, we can do so much damage in single turns, insane. So, we're gonna keep doing that. I don't see why not. If I need to use another partner, I will, but after Goombella has been shied, oh, oh, sorry, skipped over for the entire playthrough, I think it's time for us to let that girl shine. But before we let her shine, we got to get out of the x Not Fortress. We are currently at the door of Tech's office because this is the only room that's like, hey, you can do something. So we're going to see what's in there and hopefully we can get ourselves out of the x Not Fortress. If you guys enjoy yourselves, let me know. Demo! Oh, last time we also had Bowser interlude. It was pretty funny. Demolish the like button for me. Now, this is important. YouTube has now formally announced that they don't always deliver my videos to your sub boxes if you only click subscribe. Subscribing is important, but subscribing only opens the gateway and then you have to do the extra step and ring the bell to get notified, not just notified of my next video, but to guarantee that my videos will show up in the sub box. Let's say for whatever reason, for whatever reason, you had to not watch my videos for a week. The YouTube algorithm would say, oh, this person is bored of this channel. Even though life may have gotten in the way, maybe um, even if you got on a, a music binge, or maybe you found a new creator, because I understand it happens. You find a new creator and you binge watch their videos. I did that with Liza Kashi. I found her video and I'm like, yo, she's freaking hilarious. Um, I get it, but YouTube will take that as you are bored with this person and they will push you to all the PewDiePie's, the Jake and Logan Paul's, the Markiplier's, you know, everybody out there who's already large, they're gonna push you to them because they have that consistent million view fan base. It's really silly and it really does hinder growth for a lot of small channels such as myself. Yes, I am a small channel. In, in, uh, in the big world of YouTube, I am a small channel. So to wrap this up, if you want to guarantee you get my videos in your sub boxes, you have to subscribe and then you have to ring the bell. It's the only way because otherwise YouTube is going to push it out to everybody who has the bell rung and to my most active subscribers, which means the people who are clicking on the channel every single day. Um, so. I, I know it sucks. It sounds like a lie. It's not my fault. I can only try to keep the channel afloat and let you guys know of the changes so we can all try to make sure we keep floating together. So if you enjoy yourselves, let me know. Demolish the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell to get notified of my next video and to see it in your sub boxes. But without further ado, let's get started. Man, sorry. That was a very long intro, like a good Four and a half minute long video. I admit intro. I apologize. Where the heck are we? Hi, tech. Hi. Oh, wait. You're dead. How does a system wipe not mean a system wipe? Oh, no, he really did have his memory backed up. My man came back. Yo, he made him feel safe for himself. I love it. You 
Uh, Ar Ar Mario, are you not? Oh, shoot. It, it is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. Although some people call him TEC, but Tech is just simple. Um, what, what do you guys call him? Tech or TEC? It's, it's Tech, right? It's a simple one syllable word, name. Excuse me. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. You didn't bring me here anyway. The Crystal Star brought me here. Peach directed me here. Oh, uh, maybe he did. Hmm. Princess Peach. Da, da, da. Oh, wait. Oh, it must be like a weak signal. So maybe he's not actually back. Maybe he's broadcasting here from somewhere else. I am so sorry. Most of my data was erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory, trying to stay operational. Oh, uh, so if you have, wait, backup power? What kind of computer has backup power? How can I get that for my life? High key. So he's only a fragment of himself. He only has stuff that he's learned, but he can't learn anything else. M Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Yeah. Please save Peach. Please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotus in the Palace of Shadow. What the heck is a Palace of Shadow? I had to tell you that. Where's the Prince of the Palace of Shadow? But backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level two. Of the, I know. I will release the lock. Wait a minute, so you locked it so that way I would have to come in here? Oh, he led me here as in he locked every other room except this one. Mmm, now that he led me to the fortress, let into the Oh, did he say fortress? I forget. Anyway, the princess is in the palace of shadow. Please hurry. There is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. So he's gonna die now. What will happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer. Just a machine. Ouch. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I agree. I actually agree. I, he's a computer. He'll be fine. Like, why, why, why wasn't all this information backed up? Y'all, I'm telling you right now, and I know this from experience. If you have a computer and you have a lot of files on there, for the love of all that is good, make sure you find a way to back it up. Whether it's an external hard drive, whether it's a flash drive, or whatever. Because there was one time where I lost... Um, you guys remember this. Probably like three years ago at this point. Um... I had my hard drive just die on me. It crashed. I lost everything. Literally everything. I lost my layouts. I lost my videos. I lost pictures and uh, pictures from like my high school prom and all that. I lost everything. Music. Um, again, videos and projects I was working on. Information. Everything was like right when that hard drive died. So I had to do a a um a donation basically I was asking you guys for money <laughs> I was like guys I need fifteen hundred dollars and uh, what is, yeah it, it cost fifteen hundred dollars to repair it and even though I didn't get all the information back I did get 97% of that data recovered the rest of it was probably things I didn't need because I had all my as far as I knew no actually no there was a few songs that I knew got messed up a few pictures that were absolutely corrupted but most of my data was there and ready to go so um, just a little fun fact, just back up everything. That's my life lesson to you. Have a laptop, you don't have, they're just like every two or three months, maybe even a year if you don't do that much stuff, but just make sure you back your information up. Otherwise, you're gonna have somebody hit two red buttons and next thing you know, your whole life is body. <laughs> maybe we should have taught this lesson to Tech and tell her. He died. Oh, he's remembering. Mmm, the cash memory. Mmm. Thank you for me. Thank, thank you for, for what? We got it, Tech. So, hurry to the teleporter room now. Mario, save her. Yay, he's finally dead. Hooray. Tech system failure reported. 
Gonzalez, that tears it, man. We just gotta save Peach for Tech too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm down. I'm, I'm absolutely down. I'm just glad that uh, Tech is finally gone. Like, you, you know why I'm glad that Tech is gone? Because right now you guys probably thinking, PK, you're so freaking heartless. Hear me out. And every story, you need that one moment. It doesn't even have to be a main character. But you need that one moment when somebody that you had some sort of attachment to who has been there for the majority of your journey go just gets killed. Gets, they're gone for whatever reason. They don't even need to be killed, um, but they need to be wiped out. Like, for instance, Krillin was killed in Dragon... Spoilers! Dragon Ball Z. Um, what is it? Krillin was killed. And that is what caused Goku to trigger into Super Saiyan. Um, it sucked! That his best friend had to be murdered before his eyes. But tell me the first if you watched Dragon Ball Z and you didn't know that happened. When you first saw that, tell me you weren't just. I know I was. I was gone. Jaw dropped, mind, blank, heart, racing. I was hurt. Krillin was killed. That was Krillin. That's his childhood. Friend, murder, came out the ashes, raised up, absolutely helpless, then BOOM! Filled with key energy and explode. What first of all, why didn't he just do that to Goku? Like what's the difference between Goku and Krillin that he could do that to Krillin but not Goku? But still, dang like I can't imagine. I, I don't want to imagine my body swelling up and exploding. But that's what happened to Krillin. It, it, it's tough, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Wait, Peach. Goodbye. That was it. Okay. Um Did the fortress just blow up? Did the fortress just blow up, Tech? I didn't know a tech system failure was the, the red button. You hear something just then? It doesn't react whatsoever. Apparently it doesn't work. No way. Yo. Alright. He actually is dead. Really, for this is Mario. Who is that? What are you doing down here? Over here, son. Like the one time you come down here now, you brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? Throw it from the bottom now, a whole team up in here. What? Talking to my good air. The Xnot Fortress was on the moon. Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Sure was. B but the Xnot boss took her off, took her and took off for the thousand year door. Aha! Why, why? Why? Calm down. Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the thousand year door. Alright, there's no way one man's smell could actually emanate that high that quickly. And even if it did, wouldn't you just assume, like, oh, it's just sewage? I saw a suspicious fellow wearing a cape go through the door with Princess Peach. What? You said that door wouldn't open without the seventh crystal star. Believe me, I know. But I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with the own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Not to mention every your entire research is a lie. What kind of professor are you? This door will never open without the power of the seven star crystal stars. Unless you're Grotus. Then you can just do whatever the heck you want. For plot. Plot armor. Storyline development. What? Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. After I get some gear. After I get some gear. Actually, I got a couple things I gotta do. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting up top. Like, I, I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. Ultra Shroom, snatch this up. Yes. Oh, I have too much stuff. I need, I need some space. I need some space. Store. Go my store real quick. Actually, my gear kind of... Wait, I'll probably store that. Mm, yeah, I'll probably store that. My gear kind of fire, though. Thunder Raid, I can keep that. Life stream in case... I, I got two life streams, so an automatic revival, just in case things go wrong. Um, I actually might want... Oh, wait, I have jam and jelly. Do I have two jam and jellies? I don't have two jam and jelly. Can I buy a jam and jelly? I will buy a jam and jelly. Bam. Money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Camellia. You come. Oh, wait a minute. Did I ever equip that partner badge? 
Is that it? I think it was just a do I didn't. Prisoner. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and we have this. So we can do a happy heart. Okie dokie. Do I have a happy flower? I would love a happy flower. So I use my, my uh, FP a lot. Oh yeah, we do have the Mario. I don't really want to use them though. I know if you put that on, you look like Luigi. Put it on Wario. If you put um, if you put on the W one, you look like Wario. And if you put both of them on, you wallow Mario! Yay! But uh, I don't, I don't really want. I don't care. But I, I just don't want to look like Wallow Mario. But I do like that that's there, and I wanted to grab them just for that reason. So I'm just gonna turn them off now. So we have two slots left. I feel like, hmm, maybe I want something else with my hammer. Damage, pretty lucky. The large attack, no. Um, happy heart. I don't know. Like, this is actually pretty difficult. You know what, let me go to um, Miss Miles' shop. I'm gonna see what else she has up there. We know we gotta go to Thousand Year Door. And Frankly's always telling us to go there. That, that means that, like, that's, that's the last thing we gotta do. We know that. But, you already know you gotta prepare yourself properly before you go on to the final battle, or the final chapter. Um, so, I'm gonna save this now, cause I know there's gonna be a lot of people gonna be asking, are you gonna be doing this, that, and the third thing? There are three things we're gonna be doing post-game. One, we're gonna be talking to that rat up on the top. Two, we're gonna be doing Luigi's story. <gasps> Where's Luigi at? Oh, I completely forgot about Luigi. Luigi, where you at? Luigi? Ouija witch? Where's he at? Oh, I gotta find Ouija. I don't know where he's at. But, um, yeah, we're gonna be doing Luigi. And then, the third thing is... Oh, of course, the Pit of 100 Trials. So, those are the three things, three post-games we're gonna be doing. I'm not gonna be worried about the troubles. Um, I'm not gonna be worried about anything else, just cause I think that's all I need to do. But, I'll say this. Right now, in the comments, this is gonna be the community question. If you have already played Thousand Year Door, remember that I have never beaten this game. So if you have already beaten the Thousand Year Door, where the heck is Luigi at? Luigi, are you in here? He's like, ah, no, he's not. But yeah, if you've already beaten it, let me know in the comments what's one more thing that I need to experience. Or, what, what, one more thing, but anything else on this game that I need to explain? How do I get that? How do I get that? Oh, I know. I know. But yeah, that I need to experience. In the meantime, I gotta go find Luigi, and I have no idea where he's at. But, uh, actually, uh, let me not do a, a transition real quick, because we gotta walk down here. We're gonna go get that item, whatever that is. I didn't know that until, like, now. I don't know where Luigi is. I wanna find out the last of the story. Like, that's the thing. I've never heard that. i never heard the end of the story. Oh, my God. I get to hear the end of the story. Yes! Oh, I'm so ready for that. What is this? Double dip. During battle, use two items in one turn. Okay, actually, that's a pretty good badge. Requires three. Hmm, that, I, I like that. I mean, I, don't, I rarely use my items, but I do like that idea. Can't go over there. All right, well, let me go find Ouija. Oh, hey, okay, I want y'all to know. I was about to go to Miss Miles' shop, and I'm like, all right, I can't find him, so I'm just gonna go to Miss Miles' shop. And here he is with uh, with Bluey. I, I want to I want to talk to Bluey after, but right now we gotta figure out the last chapter of Luigi's stories. Uh, let's see, adventures. Oh, of course, me. I'm done questing for now. Yep, I scaled Hate Song Tower the other day and rescued the fair Princess Eclair. That's one adventure I'm never gonna forget. Nope, it was just too exciting. It was just bon yeah, heck yeah, I wanna know. Let's go, Hate Song Tower. Let's hear it. Hatesong Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the northernmost sea. The winds wh whistled down the cliff, howling like banshees singing songs of hate. Ah, I get it. People say it's pretty much the scariest thing in the world, and I had to go there. Blocking out the bone-chilling howls, I somehow managed to reach the, the tower's door. I was terrified, but thoughts of Princess Eclair warmed my heart and gave me enough power. All of my companions felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. The door to the tower swung slowly open to reveal an inconceivable darkness. 
I tried to call out Princess Eclair's name, but I couldn't even breathe because as I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all. The Chestnut King himself appeared before me. He was monstrous and drooling. Puddles of toxic goo dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast head on, dead on. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped onto his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. My swing split the air and crashed dead center onto the chestnut king's skull. Hope powered me up, bro. I was going to to going toe to toe with the king, and I was loving it. This is it, I thought. I can win this. I risk it all on my next blow. Oh, Lord. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. I gripped my hammer tight and waited for my moment. The tension stung me. Shwack! The ocean winds raged against the tower windows. With that sound as my call to battle, I advanced with the no mercy in my heart. And then... No, don't do this. I beat him. Oh. I defeated the chestnut kid. Sweet. Alright, congrats, Luigi. Hey, everyone clap it up for him. An even worse beast came next, a nightmare thing. But I beat it too. Oh, uh, did they, they just get lazy? Oh, uh, they got lazy. I rescued Princess Eclair. It was all over. Uh oh. And then I came back to Oakport and had a light lunch. And that's about it. Huh? You think there's more to the story than that? Not at all. That's it. That's the whole story of the quest for Princess Eclair. The end. But my adventures won't end here, bro. They'll never end. So disappointed. So here we go. We oh, there he is, waiting for us. This is it. This is the thousand year door. Well, catch you, Mario. Well, it doesn't matter now. I don't think they're in the vicinity anymore. They must have found another way to get through the door. Didn't you already say they got through the door? You already said they got through, the, which doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And you know why it doesn't make sense? I'm being tricked right now. I'm being tricked right now. That's not the real Franklin. Because not once has he come into the underground. I don't know what's going on. But that's not the real Franklin. They're not really in there. And some, something's wrong. Something, I don't know what it is. But something's wrong. You're not real. That's that's my prediction. For, I wouldn't say spoil it in the chat, in the comments. But hopefully by the time you see this, I'll be done recording. So there won't be any spoilers. But, uh... But, oh. Hey, look at the crystal stars. That's the red. That's my, that's my star. That's my star right there. Six, seven, eight. Oh, they're not going to reveal one because they're all revealed. Now they're just unlocking a thousand year door. Ooh. Whoa, look! The door! Crystal. Forest. Earth. Fire. Water. Happiness. Love. There you go. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. Like, what is that? Is that orange? Is that brown? What element? What is ever anything that matches orange? Annoying? The annoying star? <laughs> oh. At long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadow has been opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend. Wait, before. Wait, at long last. But you said they were already. Mm, I don't trust you. Before he takes over the world, you must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. Let's rock, Gonzalez. Alright. I mean. I'm assuming that in that door, chapter 8 begins. So we're going to end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed yourself, let me know. Demolish the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And ring that bell 
to not only get notified of the next video, but to make sure my videos show up in your sub boxes. Next time, chapter eight begins. But for now, it's time for me to dip. Say hi, guys, and I'll see y'all next time.